Behold, the braided rug. A uniquely American product, this rug ties an entire room together. It certainly does. From Colonial Mills 70,000 square foot facility in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, these rugs are made from 100% USA sourced yarn. This is Colonial Mills founder, Don Scarlotta. And these are his kids, Greg the VP of Sales and Meredith the Creative Director. Hey, Greg, Meredith, what's it like to have your dad as a boss, huh? Yes, Dad. Are you too scared of your dad? Not anymore. No, not anymore. <laughs> it's okay, he's gone, it's all right. Well, we grew up not really wanting to be in the business, um, to be honest with you. Going to work for your father was probably the last thing I wanted to do. Especially knowing how meticulous our father is. Yes. I'm known as, as a neat Nick. I mean, Mr. Organization, right from the top to the bottom. The way I operate, the way the factory is kept, I like everything in its place. Well, it's obviously a system that works because Colonial Mills manufacture around 200,000 rugs each year. And each of those rugs starts its life right here, where raw yarn is held on giant spools. That yarn is taken to the winding room, where it's unwound onto bobbins to create unique color blends. Yeah, this means combining different colored threads to make one multi-hued thread that will be used in the final braid. Gilberto's in charge of this department. He looks pensive. Okay, and how many colors have you got cooking, Gilberto? So many. A lot. Once the color blends have been created on the bobbins, those blends are cut and tied to a plastic center in preparation for braiding. Three bobbins are used per machine and the yarn is woven automatically to create the braid. The bobbins are braided together around polyester filler. That filler creates a stable core to work around, so the final rug will be easier to sew. The end result is a flat braid, which is wound into a holding barrel. These guys are braiding about 1.2 million kilometers each year. So essentially we can braid enough braid for a five by eight rug in under 20 minutes. Those braids are brought here to the machinists. Hey. Hi there. You know, they're given exactly 29 minutes to sew a rug? No, neither 29. Neither uh, maybe 26. No. Uh, the same people, maybe 29, a little bit more. Sounds like someone's angling for a raise. I'm thinking. Fatima sews the rug from the center outwards, adding layers of braids as she sews. To help spin the rug while they sew, the machinists use this air table. Yeah, it's cool. It's basically like a giant air hockey table. Whoa. Holes in the surface create a cushion of air, which reduce friction to help the rug move smoothly and quickly across it. Which makes sewing faster and playtime more fun. The finished rugs are wheeled through to packaging, where they're wrapped, labeled, and sent to homes everywhere, including Mickey's house? Really? Our rugs are actually in Mickey Mouse's house in Ooh, yeah. Disney World. Yeah. Sure. Mickey's house. But also just regular houses for regular humans to enjoy, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be a downer or anything, but don't you guys think these rugs are a bit too nice to put on the floor? Yeah, I know what you mean. Do those people have their feet on the rug? Don't you know this thing was handmade? How about a little consideration, huh? Okay, that's it. Everyone out. Nice. And hover. How'd you do that?